Hey, what's up, guys? Nurse Blake here, and I am so excited because I have a special guest, Nurse Rana. Yes. Hi, guys. Thank How's you so much for man? having me. Oh, my Good. gosh. I'm so happy to have you on. This is really the first time we've chatted, I guess. Yeah, like, yeah. I follow you on Instagram. You Besides Instagram, stuff. yeah. I know, right? I feel like that's where I kind of communicate with everyone on social media now. Yeah, same here. I love Yeah, that. so those of you who are tuning in, if you have any questions for us about nursing or nursing school, drop them below and we will answer those questions for you live. And I know you graduated back in 2014 and that's when I graduated. Yes, I'm, yep. I'm so excited to be a nurse. Like it still feels like it was yesterday just going through nursing school and graduating. Like I was talking to my friends like last week and we're like, I kind of miss it. Like just seeing everybody. So I know it's, it's like the people you go to school with, like become yeah. your family. Exactly. And I unfortunately moved away after graduating nursing school in Orlando. I lived in South Carolina. Then I haven't yeah. been back. So it's hard for me to connect. But really those people you go to school with are your family. Yeah. You got to have a reunion. You got to do it. I know. I'll have to go yeah. back for me. That would be so much yeah. fun. I would love yeah. that. What now? Where do you live? I live in Los Angeles, California. So, so fun. Yeah, I haven't like really been outside the states yet. Like okay. besides Germany and stuff like that. Oh, but, cool! Nice. Yeah, yeah. Not as a travel nurse or anything. No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> she said not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but can you give everyone just like a little uh, background of your your experience? Yeah. So basically, I started out on a med surgeon telemetry unit. So um, it was really crazy, uh, really exciting, learned a lot. And then during that same year, I went into pre-op and PACU. Okay. And then I really loved the craziness of it all, you know, like starting IVs. And then they're like, okay, you're going into surgery. I'm like, oh my God, I have to like get this case quick, you know, before like anesthesia comes up and is like angry at me. But <laughs> it was really crazy. And I enjoyed that fast paced environment. So I was like, I have to get into, you know, like a step down ICU and start off slowly, and then transition into ICU. So that's where I am at right now. I'm in a step down DOU, which stands for direct observational unit. And I'm slowly transitioning to ICU, so I'm like floating to ICU a lot, but it's really exciting. I love it. How is that like floating to the ICU? It's so different. Every is single it? time I see my name right next to like ICU flow, I'm like, oh my oh God. God. No, now that's like right when you get on to shift, like you find yeah. that out. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah, that's like nerve wracking. It is because... It's different because you get used to, you know, your unit, you get acclimated yeah. to the people. And right. after you, you start floating, you're like, okay, I got to really get my stuff together. Where's my other brain sheet, you know? So I I'm really excited. I'm, I'm hoping to like just stay on that unit eventually, but I just want right. to kind of take like baby steps. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I remember just like, I worked in the ICU, not anymore, but it was such a crazy experience. Oh, like yeah. I learned so much. I was challenged like each and every shift and you oh, never right. know what you're going to get. So I can only exactly. imagine being exactly. in an observation unit and then having to float to the ICU and yeah. you're just like, oh, what's going to happen? <laughs> exactly. But I that's love what it. nursing, like you learn something every day. Like a lot of people Very are true. like, I can't wait for school to be over. And I'm like, listen. Even yeah. after you graduate, it's still yeah. like school. You're still learning every You're single still day. Learning. You're like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Um, can you exactly. talk a little bit about how when you float to the ICU, you do things a little differently? Yeah. So, you know, I feel like every single time I either float or even going to med surge, you know, or telemetry, um, I have to just organize my thoughts a lot differently. So when I float to ICU, I'm like, okay, I either am going to get one patient or two. And I have to really focus on those two patients and figure out which one am I going to stay in the room a lot longer. Because really, sometimes I've spent the whole entire shift in one room. And you, you know, you just kind of have to organize all your thoughts together, get a different brain sheet if you need to. Um, I figured that the more detailed you are in ICU, the better. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then when, yeah. You know, and then when you go to floating to telemetry or med surge, things are a lot more general. I mean, you have, you know, your ambulatory patients or whatever. So 
a lot more stability over there on the other units. So well, now yeah. can you explain a little bit about what your thoughts are, the difference between mm -hmm. med surge and ICU? Because yeah. me, they're both very different, but they're challenging in their own ways. Like oh, totally. it would be hard for a med surge nurse to spend a day in the ICU, and it would be just as hard for an ICU nurse yeah. to spend a day in med surge. Definitely. Like I, I feel like in ICU, it's not just the acuity level that you have. I mean, it's like, you know, the vital signs every hour, strict diagnose every hour, mm -hmm. doctors calling you left and right for your stat, you know, critical labs. Um, but as far as that aspect of it, you know, when you're transitioning from ICU and floating to med surge or tele, now you have so many different patients, you know, all mm -hmm. in different rooms. So you're running around a lot trying to figure that out. And then you have patient families for five different patients. Yes. So that's a lot. It's not one or two anymore. Now you got five different families asking you questions. So it's a lot to deal with. But that's another reason why I chose night shift. So um, okay. a lot less, you know, stuff going around. We'll but, get to night shift in a little bit because I want to ask you more. Yeah. I also did nights and it was like so much fun. Um, I love it. Yeah. What was the shift? What was the... Um, uh, Oh my gosh, the patient ratio to med surge and then in the ICU. So in ICU, you either get one or two patients. Mm -hmm. And then um, for telemetry, you get four. And for med surge, we get five. So I don't know how okay. it is in other states, but in California, that's how it is over here. Yeah, you guys have the patient ratio laws, right? In California. Yeah, okay. that's, right. that's so nice. So lucky. That, so lucky. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's something that's, you know, good to have yeah. for sure. You know what you're going to have every shift. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We are getting a question from Miranda. And Miranda, Miranda says, yes. Is there a pay differential for floating nurses? Um, in our hospital, not yet. Um, if you do sign up just to be a float nurse, definitely. Like, I think the pay difference is really significant. But if you're just stationed in one unit and you are going to be floating to other units, you know, he, here and there, then not so much, no. Okay, thanks for answering that. And then yeah. we have a question from uh, Destiny. Destiny says, Destiny. nursing student at Texas State. Yes, I was wondering what med surge was. So can you explain a little bit about med surge? Sure, med surge is really, um, how do I explain it? Like, it's a mixture of everything. You get post-op patients, you get some patients who, um, are just, you know, pain management, maybe because um, I'm in a trauma hospital. So sometimes they're in an accident, motor vehicle accident or, you know, pedestrian versus um, a motor vehicle or something like that. So um, it's a mixture of everything. I mean, how would you explain it, Blake? Like, yeah, right? I, I would say it's definitely a mixture of everything. It's I believe yeah. med, med surge is a specialty, just like anything else, like pediatrics yeah. or ICU. Uh, it takes a special kind of nurse because really you're prioritizing a, the care for numerous different patients. Right. And yeah. there's a lot of risks involved because these patients are typically walkie talkie. So you have to think about things mm -hmm. like falling. Um, yeah. And those are some things you don't necessarily have to think about in the ICU when you only have right. one or two patients who are right. vented, you know, exactly. they're immobile. <laughs> then you have carrying in med surge, five patients in California, but it could be up right. to seven patients in other states. Exactly. And it's all about prioritization. And I think right. that's a huge deal. Yeah. Yeah. Any med surge nurses out there? You guys work so hard. I know it. Yes. I was in a. Oh my God. Yeah, it was so hard. <laughs> I didn't necessarily do med surge. I'm trying to. I was on a pulmonary care unit. So it was kind of like yeah. step down unit was my right. first job. We would have between like four and five patients. Oh my and gosh, for a step down? It wasn't necessary. Oh it God. wasn't a step down, but it like yeah. was a step down because we took right. vents. I mean, we took patients on vents being a pulmonary unit. Yeah. It was honestly the best experience uh, my totally. first year as a nurse because I learned so much. I bet. So much. That's so awesome. Yeah. So I want to, let's talk about, about your first year as a nurse. Like what challenges did you face? What advice do you have for students? Yeah. You know what? Like my first tip just for any new grads out there is just be patient because I feel like as soon as you go out there as a new nurse on a new unit, new hospital, new setting, new people, 
you feel like you have to play catch up and you don't need to do that. You know, just be gentle with yourself, be patient because these things take time, you know? So, um, my other tip would be just ask for help. You know, I, I remember yes. so many times I would ask for help on a heparin drip or titrating an insulin drip. I'm like, can you yes. please just do my blood sugar? I'm like yeah. going and lifting and turning this other guy. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. You know, nursing is not just an I thing. It's a we thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's all about that teamwork and um, what other tips I can give. Um, be on time. Yes. Be 30 be minutes time. early. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm always early. I don't know about you. I have to be there at like always. 6.30. Yeah. Always so early. Yeah. yeah. I need time to just relax, get my coffee, you and know. Speaking of coffee, you yes. are I'm drinking my Starbucks right now. I love that. Uh, well, do you drink coffee or tea or what do you I drink coffee. To? Okay, coffee. Coffee all day. Vanilla what latte. Ah, that's what I got going on. In my are you serious? Right now. I love every day since <laughs> nursing school. You know what I do I? now? I add cinnamon to it. I don't oh, know if you've tried no. that. No, I try haven't it. tried it. I'll have you to try, try it. Then. Oh, cinnamon. Just like my what? Favorite. Like, like a like what? Just a dash of cinnamon. Yeah. Okay. On top and just mix it. I don't know. It it tastes like a cinnamon roll. I don't okay. know why. It's oh, so good. You said cinnamon roll. I'm like all about it then. <laughs> yes. So that's in your vanilla latte. Yes. Okay. Try it. Cool. <laughs> I love it. So <laughs> speaking of coffee and like caffeine and staying awake, someone, yeah. uh, let's see, um, someone asked a question and I want to pull it up. Sarah Yay. asked, Sarah. how do you <laughs> handle switching from night shift and then to day shift? Any tips? Um, not necessarily oh, switching yeah. night shift, but switching your schedule around. Um, sleep is my best tip because I've done day shift as well. Picking up day shift because you understand that short staffing is a huge deal in nursing. So they'll just ask anybody like, hey, can you pick up a day shift here? Or they'll ask day shift people to pick up a night shift. So vice versa. Um, I just I just figure out, okay, where do I have to fit in my sleep time? And whatever that is, I have to wake up at like 4 p.m. if it's around night shift because of my commute. And then if it's day shift, I have to wake up at 4.30 around that time in the morning to beat traffic. So just make sure you're kind of aware of what time you need to wake up, how far is your commute and fit time to just sleep. So I get about six hours. I don't know about you, but. I like sleep. I yes. like sleep. I like sleep. <laughs> Me too. I like sleep. I did both night shift and day shift and they both have their own different like challenges. And yeah, um, my thing is it should never be night shift versus day shift. I know that's, Totally. A lot of people will be like, oh, well, day shift doesn't do this and night shift yeah. doesn't do that. But we're all yeah. really one team, you know. Yeah, nursing is 24 hours. So yeah. it's like, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we are at like a good break spot and we're going to do awesome. something new that I've never done on a live <laughs> before, but I wanted to do it for the longest time. We oh my God, I'm so are going to do a medical <laughs> terminology spelling test. And I oh want God. you guys out there to play along. So what's going to happen is yeah. Um, yeah, Rana will say a word. She'll tell me a word and I'll have to try to spell it. And then you guys in the comments can try to spell it below with me and we'll see if we could get it right. And then we'll go back and forth. We'll each get three different words. And now that okay. I'm saying it, I'm like, you really nervous? Because I'm a horrible I am speller. too. <laughs> I'm like an awful spell. I thank gosh for charting where you're able to just yeah, click everything now. Exactly. It's like, oh, spelling oh is God. awful. But I'm so excited about this. So you guys out there, play along. Well, if this goes well, we'll yeah. start doing this in all the lives. But, <laughs> I'm um, so excited. Okay. Okay. I'm scared. Thank gosh right. we didn't have to do spelling tests in nursing school. Yes. I would have so, that. Okay. You can go ahead and ask your, <laughs> tell me the first <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay, ready? No. <laughs> Your first word is <laughs> streptococcus. Oh, no, she did it. <laughs> no, you did it. <laughs> oh, okay. You got this. S T R E P T A. C O C C U S. You were so close. No. 
<laughs> How many words was I, or letters was I off? One. You put an okay. A instead of an O. Oh, okay. That so wasn't close. too bad. That wasn't yeah. too bad. Yeah. That wasn't too yeah. bad. Okay. Are you ready for your word? No. <laughs> <laughs> your word is <laughs> erythrocytopenia. <laughs> Good luck to you. Erythro. Can I use it in a? Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> the patient has erythrocytopenia. <laughs> Okay, erythro. <laughs> a R. Ery. Why? Uh huh. Oh, you got the first letter wrong. I did. Yeah, Is try it again. E? Yeah, E E E. Damn it! <laughs> See, I suck at this. <laughs> I love this so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Starting over. What, is, okay. what do they get in the spelling bee? They do like the little ping. Oh, I'll buzz yeah. you if you get it wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they do ding. <laughs> uh, e R Y T H Arith Ro R O. Mm -hmm. What was it? Erythro what? Cytopenia. Cytopenia. C Y T O P E N I A. Yes, good job. Oh, nice. Yes. Good job. I, I messed up so badly on that. that no, was it's fine. You're doing really good. No, no, now it's my turn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're going to hate me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Rhabdomyosarcoma. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to be like something nice, like rhabdo something. Yeah. What is it? Rhabdomyosarcoma. R H A B D O M Y O S A R C O M A. Holy crap! Yes! Did I get it right? Yes! Oh my god! Matt, who would have thought I was a good speller? Oh my god, you're amazing. That's we should stop awesome. now. We should yeah. stop now. Let yeah, that seriously. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Are you ready for your word? Okay, yeah. Let's do this. Prophylaxis. Mm. <laughs> Prophylaxis. <laughs> I'm loving this. Prophylaxis. P R O. Mm -hmm. P H. Uh huh. Prophylaxis. A L A X I S. You won one letter, it. one yeah. letter. Instead of the A, it needed to be a Y. Oh, Prophylaxis. Okay. Close. Dang it. Close. That's a good one. That's a that good was one. it. Yeah. Okay. Oh. This is my last one. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You got this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I'm okay. just going to say it slowly. Sterno. Clydomastoid. Sterno Clydomastoid. You got this. S T E R N O C L Y D O M A S T O I D. By one word. I mean, by oh, one letter. Oh, by one letter. One letter. Oh, so close. <laughs> Which letter? It was C L E I D O. Okay. Mm. But it's okay. You're good. <laughs> no, oh I'm not God. good. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> are you ready for your word? Yeah. This is your last word. Okay. Are you ready? Can you guys play along too? So after we say it, put it in the comments. Um, okay. I have two words for you. I'll be nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Auscultation. Auscultation. Okay. A U S uh -huh. Auscul C U L T A T I O N. Good job. You did yeah! it. Nice. I love it. My that. parents yes. are proud. Yes. You did so good. Oh, that was a success. I love that. It's so much that was fun. So fun. Oh my god. That is so much fun. I'm gonna have to start <laughs> practicing if I do that again. I'm gonna have Me to start too. studying up. Me too. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Oh that my gosh. Awesome. That's great. So the spelling test was a success. 
yeah. was a success. Uh, <laughs> I think we're getting in some questions. Let's see what we have going. Oh, everyone played along with the game. I love oh that. Oh my God. That's Good so job. much fun. I love I'm that. I'm sorry. I'm a horrible speller. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> can I use it in a sentence? People love that. That was so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, let's see what people are asking. Um, they're, everyone's been spelling, so I'm like, oh have to my look god, you guys are below. awesome! I know they're awesome. Um, uh, I'm start. This is from Amir. I'm starting my med surge job as a new nurse in a week. Congratulations! That's awesome. Any tips for him? Okay, med surge. Any tips? You know what? Be early to your shift, mm -hmm. yeah. get there around 30 minutes early, you know, make sure you have all your assignments written down. And if you can just kind of peep through the charts just to, you know, check and see what you have. And number two, ask for help. And three, if you feel unsafe or you feel an assignment is unsafe, please speak up, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. If at yeah. any point you feel unsafe, for your license or for the patient, definitely speak up. Yeah, um, yeah. Always try to look for new ways to gain knowledge. So ask questions, ask to see procedures um, yeah. and ask for help. I mean, if you're discharging your first patient, that could be nerve wracking. Yeah. It could be just as nerve wracking discharging your 50th patient. So definitely yeah. ask for help whenever you need it. Absolutely. Yeah. Good tips. Um, I want to talk to you about the Fail Forward campaign. <laughs> I know yes. you participated in this on Instagram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, what it was is uh, people come up with five failures and then they post yeah. it in the description of their picture. And I want you to kind of talk about one of them to help yeah. motivate some students that are in school so, right now who are preparing for the yeah. NCLEX. Totally. So um, I participated in this fail forward campaign where I just kind of described a few of my failures or what I call them stepping stones. Um, in my life and throughout my journey as a nurse. And I failed my board exam the first time. I failed my NCLEX and I felt like it was the end of the world. I was really depressed and really upset because you work so hard. So and hard. then this is like the finish line and you're like, wait, what? So, um, you know, my mom really helped me out with that and she really gave me some great quotes and I posted those so you guys could take a look at that. But to anyone taking the NCLEX, I know there are so many students out there, so um, don't be nervous. If you fail, it's not the end of the world. Right. Um, this is just one test, one step away from you becoming a nurse. I mean, really, it's, it's, it's that simple, but I feel like when you're in it and you're going through it, you feel so distraught, you feel so um, upset. Just don't give up. You know, this is not the end for you. And you have so much ahead of you. Like there's this whole entire future ahead of you. So don't worry about it. Take your time and, and study hard. You got this. So that, yeah. that's great advice. And it doesn't make you any less of a nurse, no matter exactly. if you failed the NCLEX once, no matter if you had finished NCLEX in 75 questions or exactly. 200 questions. That's not a measurement of how great a nurse you are. So right. um, I think that's great motivation. You didn't give up, which is the most important thing. And you did mm -hmm. it and you're a nurse and yes. you had an awesome four years. Yes. That's so awesome. So if you yes. guys are just tuning in, I have, hey, Rana, Nurse Rana here with us. Um, <laughs> she has different experiences in nursing. So if you have any questions for us, drop them in the comments. And we will answer them yeah. live. Um, oh. Well, thanks for sharing that. I think uh, yeah. a lot of times people are afraid to share share failures, but yeah, what we find out is when we do share them, we can help inspire and motivate others. And exactly, that we're not alone. You know, exactly. I agree. Uh, I so, that. what is your advice for new grads? New grad nurses. Let's see here. Um, so, for myself as a new grad, one of the biggest challenges I had was giving report and getting report. So um, just kind of deciphering between what's important information and what do I need to write down and what information do I have to pass on to the next nurse, right? So um, gather your own brain. If you want, you can make one or you can, you know, use someone else's brain and kind of add to it, take away from it. And that's what I did. Like, I basically looked up online brain sheets. I know that sounds so weird. I looked up brains, but <laughs> I 
I, I basically used it to my ability, took out some stuff, added some other things. And I felt like that was the best thing I did for myself as a new grad nurse, because mm -hmm. now I can, you know, give my reports like in such a orderly fashion and everyone's like, oh, my God, do I have your patients? I'm like, no, sorry, because <laughs> you become so thorough. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Everything yeah. is organized. And I don't know. That's how I am. I have to have all my stuff really organized on my brain sheet. So, yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Uh, we're getting a question. Um, any advice for a new grad who wants to work in ICU? Um, you know what? That's kind of my transition right now. I'm on a step down unit and I'm slowly transitioning to ICU. Um, I feel like the biggest thing is just being acclimated to your unit and just go for it. Don't be scared. You know, I felt like fear was stopping me this whole time. And now I'm like, oh, my God, this is, you know, this is uh, not too bad. So um, yeah. if you want, get some experience um, either on a step down unit or on a telemetry unit with some higher acuity so that you get a little bit used to, you know, cardiac rhythms and your drips and calling the doctor and critical lab values and what you do with that. So that would be my advice. Yeah. And I think yeah. everyone has different advice on should I go into ICU right after graduating? And yeah. it really depends on the hospital and what kind of training they have. Yes, um, exactly. Sometimes you can find a hospital with a great new grad residency program specific to ICU. Specific to ICU, exactly. Yes, and it is yeah. great. And sometimes they even kind of prefer that because they could train you and mold you. Yeah. Um, so so it's, it just depends on what yeah. hospitals are around and what programs they offer. Yeah. So. I feel like if you want to do it, just go for it. I feel like yeah. people thrive in areas where... It's They're exactly what, it, yeah, what you it's want. exactly yeah. what you want to do. Yeah. Like if you know you're going to be an emergency room nurse, like just do it. Do it. Go do for it. it. Yeah. yeah. If you want to work with the little babies, <laughs> like do it. I think the biggest thing what I've experienced as a nurse is you have to be happy each and every shift exactly. uh, going into work. So choose a unit and a job that you are going to yeah. love because exactly. it won't just make the difference for you. It'll make the difference between the patient and their families and the care. Right. So. And everyone else. I yeah. agree. Yeah. Um, Maribel uh, just says hi to both of us. She Maribel. hopes we're having a great day. We're having an awesome day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's actually studying for the NCLEX right now, hoping to pass, but I won't give up. Good I job. Love that. Don't give yeah. up. You got this, Maribel. Yeah, you got it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this was so much fun. I'll definitely have to have you back on the show. This is great. Yes, this was and fun. If you guys want to follow Rana. She is amazing. Check her out on thank Instagram. You. Your Instagram stories yesterday. Who was on with you yesterday? You guys are doing it's like my hair. grandma. Yeah. Ooh, she is so cute and amazing. Aww, that cracked thank you me so up. Much. That yeah. me up. Tell your grandma I said hi. I will. <laughs> She's great. I love her. You're so sweet. Um, Thank so you. follow Rana it's at Hey Rana. And then you can also Thank find you. her on YouTube. You have awesome yes. YouTube videos as well. Thank you so much. Thank so you, Thank Blake. you guys so much for watching. I'm Nurse Blake. If you guys have any questions about this video for me or Rana, drop them in the comments below and we will answer them for you guys. Yes. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>